This project aims to involve students in projects based on real problems that require engineering solutions, using relevant social, environmental, or technical challenges to help students see the importance of coding, technology, engineering, and biodiversity conservation in solving real-world problems in our project. We include the multifaceted use of mushrooms, taking into account their importance in nature and the need to increase students' knowledge about the use of mushrooms, taking into account their importance in nature and the need to increase students' knowledge about the use of mycelium of fungus as construction material, while the use of the use of their reproductive parts for food as well as treatment of diseases. The model built from the mushroom mycelium is ecological, in addition to which the students understand the importance of the living world that is found underground and the importance of protecting the soil from pollution. As a result, we have impact negative in the whole living world, but also in the growth of mushrooms, which require environments with moisture and fresh air. During the processing of the model, the students have developed their creative and artistic skills because they have tried to make their model resemble it as much as possible relief of the national park in their vicinity. During coding, students collaborate with their peers, actively engage, and lead their learning process. In this case, students create codes on how to protect nature from natural disasters, disasters caused by carelessness and human beings, as well as the use of natural resources, but also the use of rainwater to stop fires caused by people's carelessness, or automatic soil irrigation to mitigate the consequences of global warming. Outdoor Education during the direct approach to the problem, the students were confronted with ecological problems in nature and witnessed the negative interventions made to, to nature by people, and the students immediately developed different ideas on how to offer solutions to these problems. During learning outside the classroom, the students have used coding again because they have perfected the sensor for measuring pH, which they previously coded in class. They also used a pH meter for comparison to prove the accuracy of the coded sensor. This method was used to put into practice what was learned in the classroom, as well as how we can protect nature using coding. While learning outside the classroom, the students prepared the materials collected in the field and built herbariums with medicinal plants. The plants were photographed and the students tried to take the most professional photos possible. And then they also prepared their atlas with the medicinal plants that own their region. The students are thus equipped with knowledge about healthcare methods. The students have been an active part of the preparation of the presentation of the activities carried out. They all felt motivated to work because they felt like owners of the activity. The development of media communication skills on the part of the students was done through photographing and recording their work. The students constantly tried to design their works as beautifully as possible, which they then presented to others in printed or electronic form. The students have also prepared their electronic book, which they have designed by adapting it. To the topic, for the preparation of the book they have used the Story Jumper application, which has motivated the students in the quality preparation of the book by the very fact that the application enables the display to increase the price of the book the more work is done on it. An assessment, for the students to feel as free as possible and not create any kind of stress during the activities, the students have prepared different forms of assessment, such as different quizzes and worksheets. So they have increased their knowledge even during the preparation of the assessment. If you would like more details, you can read our electronic book. Thank you for your attention.